My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. Get you a little more inside out than you need to do. I don't want your right elbow to go like this. I want you to keep your right elbow straight, right arm straight. You see how in this swing you got the right elbow bending a little quickly. What made you, See it? What makes you think you need got that one inside a little bit. But that's still better. And you got a nice result. That's just a little bit inside. Not like you started. But see how that right arm bends a little too fast? I want you to practice keeping the right elbow on top of the left elbow. See how that's on top? If you let the right elbow get underneath the left, you're going to bring it inside too much. You know what I'm saying? It's going to bend when it gets to parallel. The further over here you are, when you start pressing, the more back you're sitting. So if you stay more centered and let it swing more freely. All right. 